Hi, I'm Jim Toomey. I draw the comic strip Sherman's Lagoon. Last week I had a chance to visit Fabien Cousteau as he was on the verge of breaking his grandfather's record for longest duration underwater. Let's go see how the Mission 31 team is doing. Tell me, you've been cut off from society for God knows how long years. So what what is it like down here? Uh, it's great. Yeah. How, how are you? Feeling? <laughs> Do you? Are you aware of what's going on up, up in the surface? Uh, you know what? It's funny. I mean, joking aside, I actually do feel a little bit more isolated down here after having been down here 28 days, 29 days now. And it feels good. Mm -hmm. It yeah. feels good because everything calms down. Yeah. We have the best view in the world. Uh -huh. Every time we go to bed, you can see we have a viewport right there next to our bunks. We see tarpon swimming by. We see Goliath grouper. Very efficient space, very small space. You've got the communications to uh, Aquarius Reef Base, which is where you started from, yep. nine miles away. This is really our meeting area, our dining table, everything else. This is where we kind of conduct all business. Our food. Uh, we got green peas here. We got all sorts. You got anything you want? Chicken breast. We've got peanut M&Ms, of course. A la Sylvia Earle, we've got peanut M&M's. Right. Nice and vacuum packed right. because of the pressure down here. I don't know if you noticed that. That's got a great. kitchen. We've got a very fancy kitchen okay. here. Hot water, microwave. That's how you cook. This is the science area. We've got some cameras. We've got some electronic. But the most special part is the bathroom. Is right here. Now we Not call that a head on a boat. What it do you call it on a? On it it, it, a it is. I mean, this is basically a, a vessel, so we still call it a head down here. And your privacy is a curtain. <laughs> this is the the uh, the wet porch. Uh -huh. This is how we get in and out. We got the the dive helmets, which we use all the time because that allows us infinite air, so infinite bottom time. Yeah. We've also got our scuba gears. You probably saw coming in, and basically our air panels and. Our shower. So have you adopted any fish? I hear there's a grouper named Sylvia. There, there are two amazing groupers. There's one named Jique, J-Y-C. Jique is sure, my, sure. Jacques Cousteau. Jacques Cousteau. Cousteau. Yeah. Yep. And the other one named Sylvia. And Jique is about six feet long, about 500 pounds. And Sylvia is about four feet long and 350 pounds. And they're amazing creatures. And they come and check us out when we're having dinner. So at four feet long, that makes uh, Sylvia longer than the real Sylvia. <laughs> certainly going to be going and doing a lot of Beyond Mission 31 stuff. Yeah. A lot of campaigning, a lot of uh, public awareness. Uh, right. And there are other projects in the back of my mind. But Is that a mouse? So who <laughs> snores and who doesn't snore? Everyone will deny it, but everyone snores. Everyone snores. <laughs> the Eagle Rays, to me, are like our escorts. They're our guardians for the entirety of Mission 31. Uh, they, they don't usually do that. They're Pelagian. But they've been hanging out pretty much uh, since oh, day one. one. Right there. Oh. Yeah. There you go. There's our guardian right there. Unbelievable. Look at that. Right on cue. We saw some sharks. We have a couple of resident nurse sharks. Um, we, saw a, we saw a manta ray yesterday. Wow. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. That is awesome. We saw uh, two types of sea turtle, a loggerhead and a hawksbill. The hawksbill was actually with me in the wet porch as I came back from the gazebo. And we hung out there face to face for about two minutes. 31 days is a long time to be away from the creature comforts. Right. Right. You know, a nice warm shower, uh, a nice comfy bed. But for 31 days to be down here is an epic experience. Yeah. <laughs>